Hey everybody, this is Denny. And this is James from TDB. So what do we got today? Episode 50. Yeah. So we got um, an aged oolong from Taiwan, from uh, Hua Lian. How do you pronounce it? Hui, Hui Lian. Hua Lian? I don't, I don't know. Um, that sounds more Chinese, though. Yeah. Uh, and um, we have about 7 grams of leaf here. Um, this looks like a 100 milliliter guy one. Yeah, 100. Um, and uh, let's give this a shot. So this is from Community Sinensis. Um, James, you've this is yours. You've had this before, right? Yeah, I've had this once before. Should go traditional style here. Yeah, warm everything up a little bit. Yeah, so I ended up ordering a bunch of aged oolongs from Camellia Sinensis, um, just because I was really curious about that genre of tea, and they had a bunch of them. Um, and you know, some of them I found better than others. Um, and this is one of the better ones, in my opinion. Um, this is an example. Um, Aged oolongs are kind of like pu'er in the sense that you can have very different teas, uh, even coming from the same source material, depending on how they're aged. And so this one for me had what seems like a relatively clean, dry-ish storage in Taiwan, or wherever it was stored for that matter. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, it was it kind of, uh, I enjoyed it. So I'm not going to spoil too much about how this tea tastes until we actually do it. Uh, but yeah. So we're just doing a quick, a quick rinse here. Um, I'm gonna actually mess up my pour a little bit, but um, no big deal. We will be able to smell everything here. It actually looks already really appetizing. Wow, really smoky. Mm. And I'm actually getting. A lot of pu'er smells off of that, too. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So how long do you normally brew this for, James? I would start with something like 15 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds. Yeah, I was going to say that this looks already like it's pretty flavorful and robust as it is. So yeah. I'm going to err on the side of lighter. Yep. So Denny was commenting before this episode of just like how the leaves seemed not quite twisted and not quite rolled. And, you know, it's hard to say because oolongs were processed very differently, uh, even 25 years ago. Um, but uh, the rolled and the twistedness tends to unfurl a bit as, uh, as time passes, and as well as the fact that the rolls that they were doing 25 years ago were also a little bit lo looser and tighter, or less tight than the rolls today that are really done by machines or those sorts of things. Interesting. So this is fascinating me already because um, it doesn't smell like an, an aged oolong to me at all. Excuse me. It's um, really smoky, really woody. I, I get raw pu'er, I'm sorry, ripe pu'er uh, notes off of that more than I get in, in the oolong. Mm. So I'm fast, I'm extremely curious. So here we are. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so the it's definitely a oolong, definitely a roasted oolong. It's actually really sweet and delicious already. Mm -hmm. So I think this tea, um, if I were to compare it to the other uh, oolongs I've had of similar ages, mm -hmm. uh, tends to be feel a little bit less aged, maybe by a little bit, and that could just be a testament to the storage. Mm -hmm. um, it feels very clean still, um, but it's really got a really nice sweetness, kind of like you remarked. Um, like plumminess is usually how they describe Definitely. kind of like the aged oolong taste. Oh my goodness. And wow, it is so sweet to me. And mm -hmm. um, getting like honey notes even. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely on the plum. Yes, definitely. Yeah, we actually just brewed um, a shui xian very heavily, I might say, before this. Yeah. Um, and so the sweetness is striking. Absolutely. Say. Yeah, this is really wonderful. It definitely has that traditional, um, I hate to say it because it's a, it's a, it sounds like it's a bad mouth thing what we're drinking, but there's just traditional, you know, kind of like Chinese restaurant oolong taste in the sense that it's just a really nice, good roasted oolong. Um, but the complexity on this and everything else, which is the important part, 
Um, yeah. I'm getting so, and I make that comment just to say that previous, you know, before tasting this, I didn't get any smells of the oolong at all, anything like that. So I'm pleasantly surprised by the yeah. the the variety in this. And the roast, to clarify, um, this tea has not been re-roasted, but there's just like a touch of the roasted taste, but hard, hardly any at this point. Interesting. At least for me. And what was the year on this? Uh, 1989. So, wow, okay. So this is 15 years old. I'm sorry. Or 25. Yes, 25 years old. Very good. Not well, a math major. I'm not a math major. I studied philosophy. We don't have to use numbers in philosophy. Um, look at the, the color on that. It's incredible. Yep. Uh, and so usually um, the arch nemesis of aged oolongs are if it's been aged poorly, um, it turns sour. And usually that's if it's been exposed to too much humidity or moisture. Mm -hmm. And so you don't get a whole lot of that here, which is why I kind of described it as a clean storage method. You get a little bit, maybe, but compared to other aged oolongs I've had, um, really hardly any at all. This is wonderful. The smell, what it was, it's fascinating to me the most is that the smell on this is so different than the taste. Um, I get... Even uh, the smell on the lid versus yeah. the smell right here. Yeah. A lot more woody um, if you were actually to smell the actual leaves, and you get a lot more sweetness if you are you smell the lid of the, the guy one. Yeah, the cup. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give this another shot. Cheers. It's just so balanced and smooth. Mm -hmm. um, and that plum sweetness is just blowing my mind. Yeah, this is incredible. This is one of the, this is one of my favorites that we've done on the show. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm very impressed with Camilo Sinensis, I must say. Yeah, they, well, seen. I would say that not every age do long I brewed from them was to my taste, um, but uh, but they do have teas like this, and their 2001 very old tree pour that we had that That's I right. was blown away by. Right. So, this is a very good tea, and the price is actually not ridiculous. It's about twelve dollars an ounce, I think, or eleven dollars. So it's Pricey, but I mean it's hard to get teas like this in the Western marketplace, especially uh, online. Yeah, and considering that it's aged um, and handled very well f over that those long years, you know. It's, yeah. You know, I'm wonder I'm wonderfully touched by the smokiness that comes at the very end of this tea. Yeah. Um, I think that it provides a wonderful balance to that sort of sweet honey plum experience. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like got that sweet honeyness up front and it evolves into a smokiness. And then it kind of has this nice, long-lasting sweetness in the mouth. Yeah. Um, so very pleasant in that. Yeah, this is a wonderful to drink. This is the kind of tea where I would encourage folks to just focus on this tea um, and session this and this only and, yep. and not brew anything else. And if you smell the bottom of your cup too... Mm -hmm. You can just smell the sweetness mm. permeating off of that. Yeah, I'm getting, again, I'm getting that sort of like dark, um, deep, dark cherry, mm. woody cherry smell off of, from, a, from an aroma perspective here. But um, the taste of it is that's very sweet and very different and very smoky. Yeah. Yeah. This is wonderful. Well, um, where, James, should folks learn more about aged oolongs and other cheese? Yeah, so you guys should visit um, tdb.org. Um, hopefully by this time we're releasing a little bit of content on aged mm -hmm. oolongs. It's been one of my uh, favorite genres of tea so far, so I uh, totally recommend checking it out. And you should also check out this tea and other aged oolongs from Camellia sinensis. They have one of the more uh, the larger lineups of aged oolongs online, so uh, definitely go check them out as well. Yeah, and um, just to say thanks to all you guys for subscribing. Please do subscribe, and thanks for being with us as we do our 50th, 50th episode here. It's pretty cool. We'll yeah. to do something special for the hunters, maybe. Um, but uh, subscribe wherever it is. It's down, up, left, yeah. backwards. Um, and check us out on tdb.org, and we'll see you guys next time. Yep, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.